Hey Metamaniacs, we're here at the Omaha PTC again. Um, we're here with Joshua, a pretty sweet deck that I had to face, uh, Plant Man. I thought it was pretty interesting, so uh, we're going to check it out. Alright guys, we have Senor, I call him Senor Plant Man because we give him maracas and we beat him hard. So, in our deck, what we're trying to do here is you see his moon set, we got four of and this card is the main baby of the deck. You want to kill him as fast as possible. This card is the best because you get power five, you get speed on top of it. It gets fast, it hurts a lot. Um, Fatality helps a lot with just giving you speed. Uh, it's not interactable, especially with this combo, Kali Yuga. Uh, Kali Yuga, you can play um, this. Uh, you can play Moonset first, then you'll go. You'll have Kali Yuga. You have Kali Yuga on the stage when you're staging it. You'll play Fatality. They'll pick up Moonset because they can't interact with it. Now, with Tagore Buzz in the format, as of right now, it'll, it'll be blown up, but Fatality says no, we can't blow it now. Um, hand Cannon is pretty much anything with a graveyard pickup or state or card pool knockoff. Uh, it'll just say no, you can't do that. You're not going to build multiple, you can't do anything. You can't pay costs. Insect, insect Puppeteer is how we do it, though. We pick it up from our graveyard. We're using Insect Puppeteer to pick up Hand Cannon. Hand Cannon says, um, I guess you just don't play your turn half time. We got, we just actually, a new addition to our deck is Spirit Gun, and we actually just added this probably like five minutes ago, and it blew up, I think we played two of in the team's event, which um, I won the team event luckily, with my friends B Bear and Kevin, and uh, this, this tag has been solid ever since I played it, and it's destroying one foundation, it's so brutal, it's a 5-6 save, it goes good with Kali Yuga on top of it. What? I just want to ask, why is it safe? <laughs> of course, and our little tech we have is D-Door, as I call it. It's Dimension Door Ambush. Uh, specifically for its R, where you get to put it into the card pool, pick up a two, uh, two or more um, techs on in a card, and they're just like, and you're just like, I'll attack now, and now it's a five. I guess you're gonna take five. I did the little action Nick Birch, and he took, Raptor took five, and he went to 14. Um, Indosaur Scrat uh, is really in here for uh, Sun God Chokes, Plant Barriers, uh, Dimension Door, Spear Gun, any tech has two or more, two or fewer keywords. Over top is our regular 4 up because the card's just good, it's solid, and it's just, there's no way you can, it's like a 4 of include always. We actually have a 1 of last kind. Car has been helping me so much, um, mostly for its lose to life and you nade for damage, minimum 1. Most of the time I'll, I can survive because I, because Plant Man's ability says uh, I gain life. So it doesn't really hurt me to actually do Nick lose to. Um, but Demon High was our, uh, another new addition to our deck. So it says after attack is play loses Gage. So pretty much we're doing against Gage decks and mostly against any deck that has a gain effect on it. So like they're trying to gain multiple, they're trying to get stun, or they're trying to gain powerful. It shuts down. Uh, we have Feeling up here as a 2 of. Um, I'm not sure about this card yet. We were, I played it, and I played in two tournaments now. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see how it goes as more tournaments go by. But um, normally, if it has happened, it like it's a nice little neat two damage. You just poke in, and it just says, "I don't, I you don't reduce my damage." Um, I think I call this the main body body of the deck, Petrol Power, which is going to suck when this rotates. It's going to suck so much. So Petrofire says, after you play this card, and it just goes down to three more foundations. Oh, uh, and it says, uh, my next attack gets plus two damage. And we're playing four up because the card's done. Uh, we have uh, our new, one, another, there are a few new additions. We have um, Challenge of the Gods, which is a, an addition to our deck, and it says, e commit cancel your next opponent's hand stuff. It's kind of like just making them walk into an hand stuff. Um, Regarding mascot, mostly for guard, uh, mostly for plant bear and uh, sun god chip, it usually draws. But other than that, it's for usually momentum based. You're just trying to build momentum. You're trying to make it speedy, boys, and you're trying to hit them hard. Um, holy pure holy wire. We use it for when you're full life, you get speed or you get big speed. But mostly it's for its R. This car pile, after you check, you just gain two life. It's so sufficient when you're wanting to gain life all the time as climbing. Speed in life is just what Plantman does. He needs to do it all the time because trying health on a seven hander is really hard to die. You can die really quickly. Uh, we have a one of uh, confronting Jetta. And uh, if you want to push yourself, I can. 
uh, we have Confirming Jetta as a one-up, and pretty much what we use it for is we give our cards either a lot of speed, or they have a lot of speed, we say uh, plus, plus X or neg X damage. So, like, for instance, I'll have Moonset, like, on a plus 5, I'll give plus 5 damage before giving our 5 use. That can get, that can be the turning of, like, win or loses, usually. For sure. Uh, survivalist. Oh my god, this card is my savior sometimes. This card is so dumb. It may not have a no block, that's fine. But what it does is R commit, uh, you can just reset. It's really a curve bar now. It's like just a curve bar on a card. One more you can say about Survivalist. Invoking Blood Magic uh, is really awesome. Uh, especially for its must, your opponent can't just like make you discard momentum. Uh, very much because that gets momentum based. We cannot, we do not like people discarding our own momentum. And so this is one way to answer it. Uh, but if it comes down to it, we have E remove and we can make your attack zero speed so we can block. Mostly for plant barriers or um, fatalities. Sometimes we'll block fatalities. Sometimes for plant barriers, depends on the scenario. And then our four punch spiders dragons. Uh, usually it's for flip effects, but sometimes you can get extra heal or extra damage. It just depends on the scenario. But it's just a solid card all around. I would keep it as a four of them. It's, just, it's solid. I think I've seen like every deck play this. this insane. And then our two reclaiming what's ours. Uh, usually it's just to take away, it's a force to Bird Brothers to board up, and it goes away anyways, it's a cost. And it's really great you'll ever see the R. Mostly you, we use it for first one, and we'll take revokes, we'll take uh, stops, we'll take any type of action card specifically, or we make an answer to Bird Brothers. Uh, other than that, our deck is literally mean green, Piling machine, this is Speedy Boy, Plant Man. Well, then we'll go over the sideboard quickly. Alright. Again, a lot of one ups. Unfortunately, this is like, we like to play a lot of one ups because certain cards are really powerful in their effects. Uh, we have a, in the sideboard, we have one more demon hide for, specifically for gauge attacks and anything that just gains, um, gains an ability of, uh, instead because they don't have it. Um, we'll make a sword and elk shield as a three elf. Card's just dumb. I don't know why it's so good. Why can't it be so good so much time? But it has two weird texts and it says you block. And it doesn't have to be your hand. So you can block as it, you played it. So, And then it says uh, it's anti throw and it, it makes him tap and you flip the foundation. Sometimes you don't really care what you flip. Uh, go to our next throw hate, Rhythmic Style with a Breaker 1. It's a 2 of, uh, it commit, it's pretty much just more throw hate, and it just removes it from the game before damage start, which is really insane with a lot of attacks. Some throws are really more insane, it depends on what you're trying to block. Uh, we're gonna go to another Challenge with Gods, and we have this, the second one, just in case we need to deal with decks that have a lot of enhances, or they have minimal enhances that they need to play. And then our final card is Mortal Resurrection. We I mean, have two really good abilities. I love this card. I actually might want to main it on thin on the fence. It's really good. It almost takes over the uh, what you're playing in ours. It's really close. Uh, it has art destroy. It, pretty much what you do is your opponent plays an attack or they play a reversal, you draw a card. You destroy as a cause, but that's fine. I'm drawing a card, I'm netting a card. Uh, our remove, this is really important. It just denies any type of cancel hate. It's cancel hate. Just straight up cancel hate. You can't. It, it stops the world, stops the rogue, stops anything that cancels. It's a pretty solid card. Alright, and this is the plant deck. Uh, thanks for joining us, Josh, and uh, thanks for being here. No problem, man. Yeah. Alright, Metamaniacs, hopefully we'll have more deck techs coming in hot. Have a good day. Take care, guys.